What's going on everybody? Max Ralph and Johnny McGonigal from Penn Live. We are sitting here in the Coliseum. You can see it behind us. I mean, it, it's beautiful. This is uh, this has been a pretty cool experience so far to see it. Uh, Johnny, uh, let's get into it. What are your, some keys for the game today for you? Well, my number one key, my biggest thing today is that we have an open air press box. <laughs> yes. In the, yes. Big, in, in the Big Ten. In the Big Ten, no. Uh, no, my, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to seeing, Max, is is how uh, USC's offensive tackles handle Abdul Carter, deny Dennis Sutton, and then even on the interior offensive line, yes. Zane Duran. Uh, we saw USC's tackles struggle uh, at Minnesota last week in the upset loss that they had there. Uh, deny Dennis Sutton, Abdul Carter could have a serious day in pressuring Miller Moss, uh, USC's quarterback, into some quick and untimely mistakes and decisions. Yeah, absolutely. We know Tom Allen's going to bring the pressure. He did it a lot uh, earlier this season, did it last week against UCLA, but they did get beat in zone a little bit, so yeah. I've kind of got my eyes toward those Penn State cornerbacks. A.J. Harris has got an interception this season. He's got 14 family members here today. Okay. I think he's getting another one today. Yeah. Uh, that's where I'm going, but let's flip to the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. What do you see there? Yeah, I mean, look, this is an opportunity for Drew Aller. It's an opportunity for Nicholas Singleton, assuming he is good to go, which we right. fully expect that he will be mm -hmm. after missing the UCLA game. I know it's a little cliche, but this is L.A., you know, where stars are born, and man, <laughs> it would be a great opportunity for Drew Aller and Nick Singleton and this offense, Tyler Warren, arguably the best tight end in the country, yep. to have a big day. Yeah, I mean, all the eyes are on him out here, Johnny. Uh, you know, USC is three and two, but we've talked about it all week. This team doesn't act like they're three and two. No. Both those, the, both those losses were in the conference on the road. Uh, this is a good team, a this desperate team, a, a desperate, desperate team, team too. Now. Backs against the wall. You yep. got to keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, I think the run game is really what you got to look out for today. USC missing uh, probably their best linebacker due to injury, Eric Gentry. Yep. You know, I mentioned it on the pod with Bob earlier this week. There's some, there's some contrasting opinions on Bear Alexander, but his, his he's, absence. he's not there. He's he's going to their transfer portal, so that's a big D tackle that's not there up the middle against the run. Uh, and we do expect Penn State to have Anthony Donko back after uh, getting banged up against UCLA. So I, I think that I like Penn State's chances here, but I do think uh, USC's offense could come out hot. Yeah, this is a USC defense that allowed a lot of rushing yards to Minnesota, and Minnesota just kind of took the blueprint that Michigan used a few weeks prior. Uh, now, I do think that Penn State's going to be throwing the ball a little bit more than Michigan did, certainly, yep. uh, you know, last month. But you look at what Nicholas Singleton and Katron Allen can do with this physical offensive line, what we've seen from them so far in the Illinois game, uh, to a lesser extent last week. But, you know, throughout the season so far, it's been the physical run game that has impressed me the most from an offensive standpoint. I think that's going to show up again today. Yeah, absolutely. All right, lay your number on me one more time. 34-24 Penn State. All right, yeah, I've, I'm very similar. I'm 34-26. Seven Penn State. Um, I think USC takes a first half lead, but I think yeah. the Lions are really strong in the second half. And in terms of uh, neutrality, Bob Flounders and Joe Hermit uh, yeah. took USC outright to win this game. So the Penn Live team is split down the middle. We'll see who's right. Yeah, two and two. Uh, stay tuned.